What is going on YouTube, Facebook? It's your boy Phenom Plays here. Traditionally, I will be doing a video game video right now. Um, I'm playing Destiny. I had the new FIFA 17. I have Dead Zax that is on my roster, on my lineup right now. But for today, I'm actually taking you along with me because today I'm wearing a shirt for FC Cincinnati. It's playoffs here in Cincinnati. The stigma is whenever you hear playoffs in Cincinnati, they usually get there and then they lose in the first round. But I have a good feeling about this team. This team is coming to the scenes. They burst on here. They made their impact on the USL, trying to make a pitch for moving up to the MLS in a few years. They've done a very good job in terms of attendance throughout the entire year. They've never had a game with lower than 10,000 ever in this game in this uh, in the time period so far. Actually, they probably haven't had a game lower than 12,000. Now that I think about it, and it's exciting for the city. They love gravitating to the sports teams that's here. And the beauty of this is we have a lot of storylines going on. We got Ugo Coley, Shauna Coley, who is the Golden Boot winner of the game, uh, Golden Boot winner, Golden Boot winner of the season. Um, so he's a good playmaker when he gets into position. We have this, yeah, the, the, the fans that are coming out and making very good rounds. There are about tw at least 25,000 tickets sold for this game, which is getting close to when they played Crystal Palace um, maybe a, a couple months ago. And they sold about 31, no, 35,000 tickets to fill out the entire stadium, which is amazing. And if you want to look at that video, I will, it will be in a link in the description down below. That way you can go right there and watch it. Um, I actually just looked on here, and actually Crystal Palace is just fine for us to win the game. They they want their have they throw the support behind us because they, when they came out here they love the environment they love the fans here and now they're like you know what let's go win so I'm excited for this game I think I'm predicting a two one win in a nail biter because I think we actually can pull it off in the end um, I'm hoping that if it's if it's better than that great I'm not gonna complain that just means we get more football going on going on into the later months of our, uh, later part of this month so I'm excited for that. And I think they're going to do a good job of knowing this. I'm bringing this camera with me to vlog my entire experience down there. Whether it's good, bad, ugly, I don't care what it is. I'm going to vlog this. I'm going to make sure I bring it with me. That I can show you all what's going on down at the stadium. How we're going to have fun. Kind of the environment that we can pan out to the pan out to the field. Show you some. Show you my reaction to plays that are happening. Things like that. We're going to have a good time today. So I hope you stick with me. Hope you watch this entire video. And let's get started. For watching the road to the USL playoffs and potentially a championship for the first year team. Let's go. Making our way into the stadium and the line is already packed like this. Well, to be fair, it's the game they're not opening the gates till like three o'clock, so that makes a lot of sense. Down here at Nipper Stadium, it's gonna be a good game against Charleston Battery. Hopefully we still pick up the 2-1 win that I predicted earlier. There's a lot of people down here already waiting to get to this gate, so it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna enjoy this.
hit the screen with about 20 yards out. Almost went in, but hey, it's a good shot on target. We'll take it. Let's go, boys. That's a big touchdown by Stevenson. Oh my goodness. 35 yard outer. That was great. <laughs> about this one I feel like this is I feel like Cincinnati is probably cursed in terms of postseason and not being able to win that game they win start off the game 1-0 with a great shot by Stevenson <clears throat> then they managed to score at the end of the half which was a header, which was another header deflected by us into the goal, and then the second one was a was a corner kick. No, it was actually a cross to the box that barely even touched the uh, barely even touched their the guy their their guy that got a header in there. Had some good chances at the end, man. Just couldn't put it away, which is kind of shocking, not to lie, but. It's funny how they actually called the game being two one. I didn't know the 2-1 was actually going to be for the other team versus us. So, oh god, thank uh, I can't even blame the refs even though there were some obvious bad calls that I think everyone in the grandmother could see in the entire stadium. But overall, in terms of an experience of a season, it was actually a good one, especially for the first year that a team just started last year, not only gets to the third seed, but also gets to host a playoff game in the same city where they just started. And I gotta give a shout out to the actual people that put it together for the USL for actually allowing the Cincinnati actually have a team. Um, for the Leonard family, uh, they actually be the owners of the team. John Harks, who is the head coach, all the guys on the team. I think my cat's trying to get in here. Yeah, but it was a good, it was a good season. Like I can't be mad about it at all. Charleston, uh, we it was one of the teams that we just couldn't beat this season. Uh, physicality showed uh, that they were just very big. They were stronger, faster at some points. Sometimes we like we couldn't, we didn't want to quit. What's wrong? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I think my cat was upset too, <laughs> but it's okay. But. <laughs> All in all, it was a good season. I mean, the guys play well. Um, they don't want to get better from here, especially for next season. Um, I'm probably going to do a lot more blogs at this point uh, when that season comes around. They start in April, I believe, so I already got my season tickets ready to go. Well, not yet, but I got the deposit ready, uh, already down. I'm going to be ready to go come, come April. 
But in the meantime, the guys played fantastic. I couldn't be more proud of them. And hey, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And for first year team that you go this far, you can't we can't really uh you really can't give them, you only give them so much props. Like the other team, like they had a good game, so and that's just my cat here getting into the picture. Hey buddy. Hey Holly. Set of the camera. Hi. But no, they did they did pretty good and like I said, I'm proud I'm proud of the team. Yeah, I look forward to uh, I look forward to next season honestly. For uh for them to actually come back even stronger, probably challenge New York Red Bulls and Louisville in the Eastern Conference and really make a really make a name for themselves. So we'll see what happens. Uh disappointing loss. They they gonna pick it up next year. But it's all good. But in the meantime, I'll get back to making my video game videos. Say out of the camera. Hi. Uh but in the meantime this is your boy Fiona Plays. Hope you guys enjoy watching some of the bits, some snippets and bits of the USL playoff game. And I will see you on the next video. Peace out.